think, yes. <laughs> Unless it's been very hit and miss, I'm not sure if this is just signal strength here. I mean, there's nothing about location change. Um, thank you for joining me. Welcome to my broadcast. Good afternoon. Uh, happy Father's Day, which is today, in case that's something on your radar, certainly on mine. And that inspired today's talk, but I'll get to that in a second. So let me start with 2 a.m. and what this is about as an overarching theme, then you'll know where we're starting from. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And I do these talks every day to inspire women to own their power, to help men be more authentic, to align to their truth, and about helping people have healthy relationships. Uh, being a passionate champion of the divine feminine, also as a, as a guardian of the feminine has been called, that's really part of my mission and, and my calling. And the topics sometimes are more biased towards women. This one's actually biased towards both, not biased, unbiased, it's towards for both genders and actually any participant this is really about. So these talks I do every day are called messages let me try that one again. These talks every day are called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And this is number 381 in my daily talk. So yes, there's a over a year's worth heading for 400. And today's topic is um, inspired from a few conversations today and a sense of reminding, remembering gratitude. Um, I was on the phone with my dad this morning who turns 91 in just about a month and as much as he's not so functional, there's a lot of gratitude there because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> so just let's start with that one for a start. Um, and I'll get into more detail about how that helps you more love and healthy relationships and having what you want because gratitude is a powerful key. And I'd love you to follow along in this place because I'm speaking more about my own experience because sometimes my own experience is the best teacher. So as I said, I have on the phone call over this morning, a brief phone call with my father, I just remembered how much grateful I am for his upbringing and for my family's upbringing, my mother too. But gratitude was something that I necessarily didn't, didn't necessarily um, equate or include as part of what was happening in my family when I was a kid. Um, not anything bad going on, but it, gratitude wasn't something that we were, I was taught necessarily as a skill. So maybe this will inform you if you haven't had this experience yourself. It's certainly one of mine. Um, Relationships in particular, since my area of expertise, is a rich place from which to um, articulate and embrace gratitude. Because for many people, for many people, <laughs> relationships are anything but something to be grateful for. So, especially exes. Now, if you're in a relationship, I'm sure, I hope, you can find gratitude for your partner you're with now. But if you have past relationships that sucked, that were painful, that were challenging, that didn't end well and you felt hurt by it, finding gratitude for that may not be easy. So let me give you some for instance, instances from my own life first, and then we'll talk about what may be your experience. So, um, and it's funny, I'm looking back at some of my relationships that were highlights in my history and look at them and so there's certain, certain amusement now looking back of the choices I made of the way I did and didn't do relationship well, <laughs> just to be transparent, especially in my younger, younger days, and what qualified as relationship too. But the one thing I want to say for myself is how much gratitude I have for the lessons I learned, because as much as most of the relationships, some of them were good, most of them were good at some point, but most of them didn't end pretty or end well. And I wasn't usually the one that ended them. And that's another story from my past. Um, I did in some of them myself, but the reality is looking back at every single one of them, I really do have gratitude, mainly because <laughs> it gave me the fuel for my work, <laughs> inspired my work to be transparent. So I have gratitude in that context, but also looking back at, well, and for instance, for example, uh, for instance, for example, that was an interesting conflate, conf conflation of two terms, with um, the last relationship I was in, the last committed relationship I was in back in 2006, as much as that was a painful ending, very painful for me, um, since I got dumped and it was a pain, it was a humiliating experience for me, I have, great, I have a lot of gratitude for my ex because if it wasn't for her <laughs> clarity at the end, yes, we had a great time together. I mean, the sex was amazing and we had a great connection and a lot of things, but I put myself in a position where I was the follower and she was the leader, which I've talked about before as the chance that the paradigm shift I had to have in my own life to really shift into helping other people attract the right relationship. But one of the things that was a benefit for me in that context was 
she showed me where I was, wasn't, uh, wasn't going and where I needed to go. At the time, it sucked. But in hindsight, I'm extremely grateful. Because it, and, and another layer I would put on top of that, um, and it's been talked about on Facebook recently, I've noticed some posts about this, that any time you can look at your own life now, in this moment, and be grateful for your own life, be thankful and appreciative and, and enjoying the life you live now, you wouldn't be here the way you are now, doing what you're doing exactly the way you are, if you hadn't had every single experience that got you here. So if you're happy about what's going on now, if you're grateful for what happened, is happening now, it makes sense that it would be good to be grateful for everything that came before. That doesn't sound nice, but it's the truth. If you can be grateful for that, it reinforces the gratitude you have for where you are now. And knowing my work and knowing what I'm about and why I'm doing what I'm doing fills me with gratitude because I make a difference. I have a, um, I may post it on social media, we'll see. I had an email from one of my clients yesterday um, that lit me up. Her feedback um, was so touching that it almost moved me to tears. And to know that I'm having that level of impact on my clients humbles me, certainly, but it also puts me in a great place of gratitude for everything that came before because it, it gave me all the skills, the tools, and the caring that I bring to my clients. And, and having that feedback from clients and what's happening for them, I cannot not be grateful, you know? So that's a little bit about me. <laughs> so I'd like you to consider for yourself where your um, experience of gratitude, where your challenges in the past may not be as easily accessible to gratitude than, you, than you'd like it to be. So let me say it this way. For example, if you were... Um, hurt, abused, disrespected, um, rejected in past relationships. Why the hell would you want to be grateful for that? Well, let me say this. If, because of those things, you swore you'd never do it again, and you haven't done it again, you've chosen differently, then you can be grateful for the experience that taught you not to fall back in that trap. Now, hmm, <laughs> If that past experience is still happening for you, that's a different conversation. But the thing about it is the lessons we learn, sometimes hard learned lessons, and sometimes they take a long time to learn, can be things that we can be grateful for, especially once they're complete because we are in a different place in life and our life is elevated. So for you, and I don't know you personally, because everyone's different, I suggest that you would look at your own life and I'm already giving you homework early in the broadcast, but this is homework. And look at those pain points in your past. That's the three Ps, yes, past pain points. <laughs> if you look at past pain points in your life, particularly in a relationship where it's intimate, that connection of the heart, because this is the area of talking about relationship-centric uh, focus, and look at those past experiences and see those places of pain, of suffering, of hurt, of woundedness. And from hindsight, be grateful if they helped you get where you are now. It's an if, I know. If you can see the challenge, the transformation of how those challenges, those upsets, those pain and hurt feelings, I'm trying to put an S on the end of that one, pain and hurt feelings, or painful and hurt feelings, it may be better, how those experiences moved you forward by pushing you into working with a coach, as some of my clients have worked with me, or reading certain books, or moving to a different country, or changing your career, or diving deep into self-growth and personal growth and doing seminars and retreats that change your life so you're a better person than you were before, then those sparks or curses are things to be grateful for because they got you here, or they moved you, motivated you to get you here. How about that one? Try that on for size. It's not an easy one, and I'm not giving you an easy homework assignment, I know, but this is, this will gain, this is a game changer in the sense that if you can do this, and I mean this like by journaling or just doing in, in meditation or just speaking out loud about it, talking to a coach about it. And to really start expressing your gratitude for those instances in your past, in your past life, in, the, in your history, in your relationship, past relationships, where things weren't what you wanted and yet ultimately out of it you grew. So maybe the relationship you had was actually a nice relationship but it was incomplete. 
the plant you were with was really nice, but the sex sucked. Or you're really nice, but they weren't growing, they weren't willing to communicate, they weren't articulating, they weren't being friends with you. You got clearly what wasn't working. They showed you red flags that you said never again. Well, I don't want that anymore. So when you left that relationship or you were ejected from it, because I had a few ejections myself, you could see that your next relationship would be different. You would hold that it was, and hopefully it was. If that's your experience, there's something to be grateful for. And also, on top of that, be grateful for the new paradigm you're in now because the relationships you're attracting, that you're in, are so much better than they were before. I'd be grateful for that if I were you. As in, yes, be grateful. So it sounds so simplistic. And in some ways it is. Like, yes, I'm grateful for that experience. But as I said, homework, as I gave you, is if you can embody the feeling of gratitude, not just say, I'm grateful, yes, like, thank, thank you very much. Like, no. Feel into the place of being in gratitude. We can embody the feeling because the embodiment of the feeling is what transforms your life. This is something I talked about before, visioning. When you can transform, I should say, when you can hold that space, that, that feeling of contentment, not only really contentment, of gratitude, saying, I feel gratitude for what happened before. I feel thankful for what transformed my life. I feel thankful for those challenges that put me where we are. I know friends of mine who went through some fallacious relationships and are now in the most amazing, growth-oriented, caring committed relationships now marriage in, case, in some cases and to see them thrive I know they're filled with gratitude both for where they are now and what pushed them to get them where they are now and if you can do that for yourself first of all it would be like lubricant in your gears to move you forward it's an interesting analogy but that's works also it's going to give you the understanding, consideration and compassion for your experience in your journey because the other part about gratitude is it tends to soften you one of the things about gratitude, the strength of gratitude for me, is when I move into gratitude, it opens my heart. Again, that's what gratitude connects you to love. I talked about that in the title. So being grateful can reconnect you back to your heart, to your loving, to your caring. So you can be grateful for who you've become and what you're going through to get you where you are. I mean, it sounds, so again, so simple, but gratitude is a powerful vehicle to change your life, both to open what's more loving and also to shift your experience and your lifestyle because the gratitude becomes that leverage, the lubricant in a way, to shift you from where you don't want to be to where you want to be. And I don't mean as a trick. This is authentic, truthful, truth-speaking gratitude. So, and we've already given you homework already in the broadcast, but that's the thing. If you can find a way to look at past relationships, past challenges, past growth, and put you where you are now, and you can be grateful for what you are in now, where your new experience is, where your new experience is and where you are now, so you can let the gratitude filter back into your past. Let it go back, let it flow back to express gratitude for those past experiences. I think I've made that point very clear 17 times now. So consider for yourself these situations, those, those history lessons that you learned in past relationships. Consider for yourself those challenges, those things you faced that really moved you into gratitude. Can you truthfully be grateful in those, the, to those experiences in an honest and in an in integral, integral way. If you can, life will change. If you can, life will become more magnificent. If you can, you will become more magnificent. That's a nice light idea for Sunday, isn't it? <laughs> so this is my daily broadcast, if you haven't already figured that out. Um, if you're just joining me late, please go back and watch the beginning. I didn't get to the point of this very early on, but I want to re-emphasize and... Exa and um, express it clearly different ways so you get it and again your homework is to look back at your past life relationship experiences not a past life this past life <laughs> and find a place where you can be grateful the lessons that you were taught that changed your life lessons that may have been painful at the time but you can look back on and be grateful for them that shift that choice if you haven't already done it will change your life for the better and you're welcome <laughs> um if you need help in this area, if you're stuck in a relationship, please reach out to me. This is my, my service, my gift, and I love helping my clients. I, I, I probably will post a piece of my client's um, testimonial because it was, it was way, uh, her gratitude to me. It was, it was so humbling and such a reward to receive that. Um, so great, gratitude's a good thing, hint, hint. So thanks for being with me as always. Um, this is my 381st daily Facebook Live Cool message to the masculine to inspire the feminine heart. This one is about gratitude, as I said at the beginning. If you want to see the rest of these broadcasts, you can find them on my business page on Facebook. 
which is um, facebook.com forward slash barryselby.author as well as on my YouTube channel because I put them on YouTube as well after they've been on Facebook and that's uh, Barry Selby's The Playlist and Messages from the Mask. sorry, Barry Selby's The Channel Messages from the Mask and The Playlist but also on my website which by the way I'm going to tell you before I get to that on my website there's a few offerings including my book, my coaching, and my online programs um, but also recordings of seminars and summits I've been on but right at the beginning of that list on the menu um, the first choice on the menu, the left hand side there's a little phrase that says let's chat a button you can click on if you want to get help in this area and you're ready to change your relationship paradigm only if you're ready if you're not, don't bother <laughs> but if you're ready to change your relationship paradigm reach out and click on that let's chat sign up for a discovery session my gift to you there's no fee involved except some time and let's talk simple as that um, that's a, that's a um, uh, what do you call it it's a place where you can fill out the application and you can choose a time on my calendar people are jumping in right now because I was on a summit that aired yesterday my interview earlier yesterday and people are jumping on Monday, Tuesday already you're getting full up right now so if you want to get on Canada get there now but also on there is the video blog which is where these broadcasts will live although I have to reformat that now it's getting really crowded um, 380 broadcasts will do that to a page <laughs> um, and that's it you've got your homework I appreciate you watching and if you have any questions comments please put them below and if you know, know anybody should watch this or should say nobody should think you'd like to share this with please share it with them but you might want to explain why before you do. <laughs> you post it on the groups and everything else as well, and I appreciate that as well. Um, I think that's it. I think that is it. Thanks for watching, as always. I'll be able to get back again tomorrow with number 382, and who knows what topic that will be. Thanks for being with me as, al Thanks for being with, me as always. I appreciate you watching. Take these skills, these gifts, these teachings to heart. They will change your life. And with that, I thank you. Take care of yourself. Bye.